I'm surprised. I, I'm, oh man. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I, it is over, though. It is over. We can, we can agree that it's over. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right. Makeshift. Makeshift. All right, there we go. <laughs> Internet, this has got to be the most. This has got to be the most unbelievable of anything ever. I can't believe this. This game had me in its clutches at the start. I felt like there was something that could... I really actually enjoyed the gameplay. For a good while, I was enjoying it. The animations, there's, there's quite a few. Enough that I don't remember seeing all of them. And I didn't even know you could fist fight. I like that. The animations are really what brings me to Assassin's Creed. I like that shit. So that was really cool. Uh, the gameplay at the start, I was actually digging it. I liked it. It wasn't so bad. It was a lot better than Oranges, but that shit wore on like easily halfway through the game. I was already okay, like, okay, let's let's move it along. You know, like I I was already pretty tired at that point. Now. This is probably the nicer things that I can say about the game. Good animations. The world looks kind of nice. It's not particularly interesting, but the world building that they did, the actual world that you can float around in on the boat and everything, pretty nice, I think. Not a lot of memorable places, but it kind of was neat going there the first time and kind of looking at stuff. Kind of neat. It was sort of nice. That's it. That's, that's the only good things I can say about this game. It is way too fucking long. Way too fucking long. There's way too much grinding you have to do. Literally, there are some things that you have to grind. There's a huge level jump before you can even beat the game, the main story thing, right? And then in addition to the main story, I guess there's these all these side things that you've got to do as well in order to fully complete the game. You know, the Atlantis thing and all that stuff. Now, there are... There are mystical beasts that you can fight in order to discover this Atlantis shit, which apparently is going to be the first DLC for this game that I just read just now. So that's probably why they're making you do the Atlantis shit. That's also this bizarre thing about the guy being your real dad and whatnot. Now, other than that, even I think maybe the most... Besides how grindy this game is, how drawn out it is, I think the the real thing that absolutely sucks about this, the choice that you're supposed to get, the influence, what story you get, seems really bumpkiss. It seems heavily bumpkiss. Like I've seen I've seen some shit like Mass Effect style choices, right? This is really bad compared to that. Compared to that, it's this is awful. And Mass Effect is terrible. This is worse. The way that you can choose things to get different story. But not only is it awful in that the way things influence your story, the thing that's worse about it is it has no rhyme or reason for the things that happen. It is just a series of events that are thrown together and it's just whatever. It's just whatever the whole time. Things like turning points in the story are just like, what? You know, it's just random. Like, why'd she get shot in the back with an arrow? What's going on? Why'd he do that? Like, th that doesn't make any sense. Why is she such a bitch? Like, it doesn't make, it just doesn't make any sense. Why is that guy fighting her again when he got his ass kicked last time? He just got his ass kicked again. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. The entire story is just terrible bumpkiss i i mean i thought i thought that the worst thing about this game would be how grindy it is like all the shit that you that you've got to do in order to get your levels going and then it takes forever to get even that in addition to that you've got to actually do it in order to beat the main story quest and then there's all this other shit that you have to do. there's just too much shit in this game and it's pointless it's amazingly shitty fluff it's just there's no reason for a lot of it there really is no reason for a lot of it even though that's what i thought would be my main sticking point here it was actually the story that i think i hated the most because it was just 
nothing to do with Assassin's Creed. It's just absolutely nothing. It's the, there's just nothing interesting about the story, and it not even a small bit. Fucking, what the hell are you going on about, Freed? I'm trying to have my intellectual conversation here. What do you want? Watch this on stream right now, this amazing piece of games review? I don't fucking read reviews. What is this? Who is this trash? I don't know what this is. Yeah, I don't read this. I, I don't care about fucking reviews. Uh, I don't do that shit. I don't click on that shit. You know that. Random ass people saying go click on this shit. No, I don't check out other people's reviews. I don't like that. I like my reviews. And my review of this game right now is that this is trash. And that's been my review probably like two-thirds of the game. A after about one-third of the game, I pretty much decided I didn't. this game was trash. It's not worth it. This game is not worth it. It's got cool ideas that don't flourish at all. And if you like Grease, maybe you'll have a good time. But otherwise, fuck that shit. It's trash. It's trash. It's a trash game. And I'm so glad that I beat it. Beat it, even though this is the most lackluster ending that I have ever gotten out of a game. I can't I can't even think of the last time I've been this unsatisfied. This unsatisfied with this fucking with it with a game that I have completed. There's no ending. I mean I literally had to activate the credits. You have to do all this other side shit which aren't technically really side shit, I guess. But I don't want to go do all that trash. I've already been doing a bunch of trash. Like, the main story's done. It's over. I killed the sister. Whatever. It's it's just a giant bag of what the fuck. And why couldn't... Why? 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 Why are they making it so that this story is something that you choose stuff on? I don't understand. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Why can you choose story elements? What's the point? Why can you choose story elements in Assassin's Creed? Assassin's Creed is trying to tell a story, something that you can watch and experience. Why is it giving me the option to change that story in little parts, but the main narrative still goes in the one direction? There's no, to me, there's just no point. I don't understand why you would do that. Because part of this shit is telling a story of Templars and Assassins, right? This game has done everything it could to be none of that. None of that. There's just nothing to do with assassins here. There's nothing to do with Templars. It's completely out. And I mean, and it's got this weird shit about the ISU, I guess. Uh, but you have to go fucking do all the side shit. It's like, oh my god. This is just absolutely bizarre. I never, I never would have expected any of this. I expected a nice proper ending. And we can't even get that without grinding all the side stuff. And there's so much of it, I don't want to go do it. I don't want to go do it. I, I, don't, I don't want to have to go get all that shit. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this game. I don't know how many hours I've put into it. But I am exhausted of this game. I'm so tired of playing it. Like, I thought I would get some kind of release here. But I really didn't. <laughs> I really didn't get it. <laughs> this shit is just... This shit is the weirdest fucking thing I have ever played. It's the weirdest. I don't know how to feel now. I, at first, I was pretty much down. But now that I'm here... I don't know. I, now that I'm here, I can't help but trash this game super hard. Because I, I, I had fun, but... Man, what a letdown. This game's a letdown. But somehow I stuck it out and got the whole thing done. <laughs> I got enough of it done in any case. I guess I didn't get the whole thing because there's stuff that apparently there's a fucking million other things we can do. But we got enough of it done. I don't care to do anything more. The only thing I care to do now is fucking figure out how much did I put into this game? Where is my save file? If I save... Wow, I don't even have a save file. I've been do going off the... If I save... I played this game for 66 hours. Look at that. And I don't even get an ending. I don't even get an ending for all that work. 66 hours. That's 66 hours I could have put into Soul Calibur 6. <laughs> I 
I don't even get an ending. I can't. I don't know, man. This is not good. You know, and the other thing is, is that this game was supposed to have, like, they were supposed to refine the combat system from the last one, and they did. But, you know, I am still not a fan of the combat that much. I'm really not a fan of it. The, 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 overall, the overall experience with the combat in the game still feels wacky. I think Liquid Identity said it earlier. It was strange to the effect that you could not, or that you could just heal whenever you wanted, really, as long as you had a pip, right? That does feel weird. And the way they tried to balance that is so that you would just take sudden damage, like, you would just take sudden damage. Some of it you couldn't even dodge or avoid. You would just randomly take a bunch of damage. And you could you would see it's coming, but you can't stop it. You would just take a bunch of damage. But then you would just heal it back up, and you were generally good to go. <laughs> it's a very strange combat system. I, I, it really is bizarre. I, I mean... And yet it is refined from the last one, so by the nature of that, it made it better. So even though I'm still, like, the overall message of what the hell is this combat, it was still better than Orchis. <laughs> this, was, this has been a real... This is the kind of thing that it's like, how do I feel about things moving forward with this series? I'm an Assassin's Creed fan. I've played all the Assassin's Creed. And this is where we're at now. I don't know if I want to be an Assassin's Creed speedrunner anymore because this shit is just the most bizarre thing I've ever experienced in a game. I've never felt this lack of completion before from something that used to be a pretty straightforward and simple experience by my book. But this, it's almost like they just threw as much crap as they could in the game. And that's it. <laughs> Absolutely insane. But you know what? I'm glad I beat it. I'm glad I beat it because now, once again, I have beaten all the Assassin's Creed. At this point, just gotta wait for the next one. <laughs> so, so I'm not playing the DLC in this one. You can forget that. Maybe go back and play some DLC in the uh, Spider-Man. But it ain't gonna be in this one. <laughs> I ain't doing that. But I'll play the next Assassin's Creed. You better believe... No, I don't know. Well, I'm actually going to have to think about it. You know, the next Assassin's Creed. If it's like this... I don't know. If it's like this, I don't know. I mean, I'm really... I'm really quite upset. Because I used to really like Assassin's Creed. I used to be a big fan. But even though the animations are still here... Everything else has changed so damn much with the game. That I'm just not really enjoying the direction it's going anymore it's really not that enjoyable i i mean 